Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Those in front of me today and those listening are doing so because they know that there is something within themselves that is changing. They feel the shift and they want to know more. It goes beyond that. There are some, for instance, in this room who have come for information hoping it would be delivered. It has been. There are those who would come for healing hoping it was delivered. It has been. When high consciousness humanity comes together with the love of God, you change many things around you. It is an axiom that has always been there. That when two or more gather together, they amplify their energy. When they're dealing with something with wisdom, with prayer, with meditation, it changes things. And so there is an intent with this group to know more. We feel this and we know. I have given you a review very quickly of the basics of the change. You are now sitting in what we have called year one. 2013 was not year one. It was the recalibration year where much had to then be shifted for you to get to year one. And 2014 is it. It's a sacred year seven. And this is what it's about. My partner picks up things that are happening that I show him. Sometimes there are pauses. I showed him one of you, and you know who you are, who's been through so much, and you're still here. His life is easy compared to yours. Every so often I will pick somebody in the group, an old soul, and show him their akash, and he's in awe. This is on purpose. So he'll see he has a lot to learn about life. The old souls in front of me are going to make a difference in the planet, but they are still humans and they're still working at a little over 33%. I told you that the change that you were going to experience would shift what you call normal. So let's recalibrate normal and talk about what it might be adjusting to the new normal. It was back in July that we gave you a channeling about what that meant. So many of you have had disrupted lives, some due to health and some with the abilities that you have, which we will call that which is metaphysical, beyond physics. I speak of the healers, the readers, all of the sensitives that are listening to this in any time frame, we know who you are. In the process of this change, there will be human attributes of emotion. When things change, you expect them to return to normal. This is your life. When you get sick, you get sick for a little while and you return to normal. All those who are trying to balance you are trying to get you back to the way you were. And this is a new paradigm, dear ones, not that paradigm at all. This, meaning the change, is a new paradigm. There is no more return to normal. In fact, 
What we have told you before is it isn't just shifting to a new normal, it's shifting to shift. It will continue to change. And so the new normal starts with getting used to change. And that is not a human attribute that's easy to accomplish. We gave the example, fun to some. Imagine your furniture and your house was intelligent. You go to work and you come back and it has decided to move around. <laughs> you come home and it's all changed. What you might do is to tell it to behave and put it back where you want it. You can't do that. You see, the furniture now is tuned to a different frequency. It wants to move, and it does. And so you make an agreement with the furniture, okay, I see where you want it to be, that's good, let's keep it that way. You readjust the things around it that you like, and you leave for work and you come home and it's changed again. <laughs> How do you like it so far? <laughs> the human being has to learn to go to work and know that when they're coming home it's going to be different. Eventually the human being has to acknowledge the furniture is intelligent and say, I got the greatest furniture, it always rearranges itself, I can hardly wait to see what happens next. <laughs> You walk in the door and you're joyful with the changes. This takes a special kind of human being that acknowledges the shift within themselves. There are certain attributes of being a human that does not like change or shift and longs for normal. So the first attribute is to get used to it, learn to love it, and expect it. Now, how does this work if you are into what we would call the attributes of energy? What if you are someone who has had a body shift of health? What about you? When I say it's impossible to get back to normal, what does that mean to you? Let me ask you, were you happy with the way it was? <laughs> How would you like to return to a place where you're healthier than before you got sick? And is that possible? And the answer is yes. That's not a return to normal, is it? You see what I'm saying? It's a return to a better aware state. It's a return to health that you didn't expect. Is that all right? If you're an energy worker in the audience, some of you have been taken for a ride and that ride is frustration and anger even that you have seemed to have lost what you had and maybe what you had was the ability for sensitivity to help people in many ways of their life you have medical intuitives in here you have those whose business is to help people in here and I've heard you cry out and ask, what does it serve? What purpose of benevolence could it possibly serve to take away what I had? There are those listening to this message who cry in the night because they can't figure out what happened. They know their old souls and they've lost what they had. What we told you, we will reiterate. The broadcast that you have been picking up and receiving that allows these gifts has now shifted frequency and it's higher. The receiver in you, which you call the pineal, now has to tune to a higher frequency that is being broadcast in order for you to retrieve what you had. But there is no such thing as retrieving what you had. We just told you that. So what you're going to do is to retrieve what you had plus more. Are you ready for that? You are going to rewrite who you are. 
a human being, a gifted human being who is a reader in help of others, is going to rewrite their program so that their gifts are enhanced. And you'll see it when they start to return. You got to know some things. It's not going to feel the same. And so here you are sitting, waiting for it to return. I have news. You have to now do something we have not spoken of before. The normal reaction to a health issue is time heals. And if you wait long enough, you get back what you had. The idea of waiting to retrieve some of these things now is not the paradigm. Should you wait or act? In 2013, we told you not to do anything. 2013 was a waiting year. 2014 and beyond are action years. I'm asking you to act. You get up and you push on the door and I'm going to tell you some of the attributes to try. And you're not going to like some of them because you didn't want to do this. You just want what you had back, right? <laughs> and we just told you it isn't coming. There are those in the audience who didn't want to hear that. If you wait long enough, it'll return. No, it won't. It just won't. Waiting is not an option. Waiting is, vac is a vacuum. The old energy is not coming back. How do you pick up the new? So let's start the training. <laughs> Number one, expect change. We said that. Understand that the old is not coming back. Understand that you're going to be proactive. You're going to push metaphorically on some energies and doors in order to reactivate the receiver to pick up the new signals. It won't take much, but you're going to have to work at it. Did you really expect that you could sit there laying around and everything is just going to return like it was? In the energy that we have told you is appropriate for the magnificence of your shift? You thought it was all going to return to the old? It isn't. You're going to have to move. And what I mean is energetically. Get up and move some energy around. Now, each one of you knows what that means because you are independent and you are also specific and unique. Every one of you has their own puzzle. This doesn't apply to everyone listening or in the room. It applies to the ones it applies to. And you'll know who I'm talking to. Number two, I want you to understand you've got help. My partner explained a body part function, the pineal. He also explained something inside you which is a concept called innate. This is what has been called the smart body consciousness. This is the one that you talk to with muscle testing. This is the one that you're going to start awakening with processes to tell you what to do. It's combined with intuition. But let me tell you something you should know. Your body is listening. It expects you to talk to it in any way you think is appropriate through intent, through consciousness, through verbalization. It is ready to find the new frequency. Your cellular structure is vibrating with expectancy. You're not going to push this rock uphill. All you have to do is start to activate that part in you to find the new frequency and revitalize what you had and more. Cry and you talk in circles. <laughs> Give us some specifics. I'll do it. There are some old things you need to revisit. Let's talk about affirmations.
<laughs> do they work? And the answer is very well. Very well. When you speak things out loud with a consciousness of intent, you hear it yourself with your ears corporally, the cells understand what you're doing. Remember I said your body is listening. Affirmations are the quickest way to change your reality at this moment in time. Does it work? Let's talk about what doesn't work. How many of you know hypochondriacs? who have complained about worry of what they would catch over and over verbalization out loud of what they would catch and what their worry would be what would be wrong with them and then much to their shock and horror they caught it all that's an affirmation <laughs> it works whatever you tell your body it listens and tries to cooperate with you understand this the affirmations should be designed by you. You can get them out of books. They probably will work. But what about ones you design for you? Let me give you some hints about affirmations. Now, it's human nature for you to verbalize things in a certain way. I desire love in my life. My affirmation my desire is to have things happen in a perfect scenario for me. I desire this. I desire that. I desire to work with God in the best way. I desire, I desire. You know what the body is going to pick up? You've got somebody desiring a lot. <laughs> That's all the body's going to get. That's a bad design for an affirmation for a magnificent human being. The affirmation should tell what you have, not your desire to get it. Do you understand? The affirmation is, I am love. I am healthy. I am this. I am that. The I am is who you are. And as you speak these things daily and out loud, there is a process. It, the repetition, dear one, is not just entertainment for God. Because some feel that way. You're speaking it over and over. Who's listening? <laughs> they don't understand. The innate is. The bridge that you must build between your corporeal and your innate has to be built in this way. Start talking to your own cells and your own innate. I am love. I am a reader. World class. I am a medical intuitive that helps people on the planet. I am one who God uses every day to help humanity. I am love. I am kind, I am considerate, I am patient. <laughs> I am in love with my relatives. <laughs> I am. Your body will hear this over and over. All right, crying, I love it. How many times do I say it and how loud? <laughs> we are entertained by your ignorance. <laughs> By now, you've got to know. When you're dealing with you, with you, only you have these answers, dear ones. How often should you say it? There's some of you who've got to say it as you drive from place to place just to remind yourself who you are. Others of you, once a day. Others of you, twice a day. What are the issues? What are you trying to do? You've heard it before. Don't try. Be. This really truly is the beginning of change. I have the new frequency and I'm working with it. All of those attributes that I was worried about 
are now in control and back. I am a healer. It's not wishful thinking. The affirmations is a statement of truth. Let me define something yet again that you should know about. Human nature works with a human brain. The kinds of things we're discussing right now are fully linear, linear to you. But they have a multidimensional aspect that you do not really truly understand. Words in the air are frequencies. Statements of intent are energies. You cannot see them and you cannot measure them. And they are absolutely powerful. Prayer works. Meditation works. This is quantum physics. The numbers would astonish you of the energies that you can create by simply stating things to yourself in the air. Brian, do I have to have them out loud? You know what? I will say it. It's better if they are. They have a more concrete approach to your own system if your system hears them 3D through the air from your mouth. Yes, you're able to do it without speaking if you wish. Not all can, dear one. You're looking at a vibratory shift. You're not looking at the way things used to be. What stands in the way of this? And I want to, I want to tell you, I want to show you the, the example. If you are, for instance, a master carpenter, what if truly your talent was so great as a carpenter? Years and years, you could take a nail and swing a very large hammer in such a beautiful, elegant way that you could pound the nail in with one swat. All the way into the wood, you had figured it out. Your aim was perfect. You knew what kinds of woods would take the nail that you had. You never missed. You were fast, you were proficient, others looked at you and they said, here is a craftsman. In that there is pride, is there not? Year after year, pretty soon that there are those coming to you, pretty soon you're even teaching it. One swipe, perfect aim. The hammer in your hand is an elegant one, it's balanced just for you, you've had it custom made. You get the picture? One day you wake up and you even miss the wood. <laughs> it's gone. And you try to get it back. Nail after nail bends. You end up hitting your thumb a few times so you're more careful. What is your reaction to that? What is your human reaction? I want you to walk through this with me. Anger, yes. Frustration, yes. And what is the conclusion? You lost it. It was good while you had it, and now it's gone. This is what I will call the finality of 3D. The human who goes right to the conclusion that it's over. The reason is because you've never experienced this before. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what you don't know. Therefore, frustration, anger, I quit, it's over. Some even will turn their back on God. So profound is this. What have you been given in your life that you cannot handle? It is so awful that you'd give up on God. And I will tell you, whatever it is you tell me, that is really human of you. It's, it's beneath your magnificence. It's not logical with the God inside. And what am I telling you? I'm telling you to get over yourself. <laughs> it's coming back, craftsman. You spent all those years doing this. What do you think? You're just uncoordinated suddenly? No, I will tell you, the hammer changed. And the nail keeps moving around. 
What do you do about that? You learn where the nail goes because you know where it's going to move. Now you're not just hammering in static nails, you're hammering in moving nails. That's much better. You're much more talented. A carpenter who can pound in moving nails. It's a funny premise, is it not? And that is exactly what we're looking at. A talent that increases, but did you see how the parameters moved around? What if I told you your hammer was different? All right, what do you do when your hammer weighs differently and is balanced in an unusual fashion? What you do, get ready for the word, practice. <laughs> it's beneath some of you to start over. Go back to the beginning. What did you do when you started the processes that you got good at, dear ones? Maybe the process you got good at was health. I want you to think about this. What did you do? You examined your diet. You examined the energy. You examined everything around you so that you could find a place that worked for you. Now you have this idea that whatever you found is going to be good forever. It just changed. Start it again. Find a new one. Those of you who are readers and psychics and all of those energy workers, if the frequency has changed, find a new frequency. How? Practice. Push on the door. Have patients come to you that are willing to practice with you. Do you remember when you did it the first time? Channelers, do you remember the first time? I speak to my partner here. It was awful. Ask me. Horrible. Couldn't get through every other word, even less. <laughs> Until he relaxed with it. The more he practiced, the better he got. Now this is second nature. He learned to step out of the way. He's not a puppet for cryon. I'm using his higher self. You do know that, don't you? The consciousness of my partner, his voice, his intellect, his culture, his language, that's not cryon, that's him. He is translating cryon. We're working together. He steps aside in consciousness, but he's working through practice. You don't want to start over, do you? Let me tell you something. You don't have to. When you start pushing on the door and going back to the basics, the basics will graduate into fulfillment fast. You'll get the hang of it. You'll remember. You'll alter it a little and it expands. This is you adjusting to the new normal, enhancing what you had to something bigger, grander, and greater. Laughing at how the nails move around because you've got a hammer that hits them every time. <laughs> In fact, it becomes a game. The nails want to go into the wood, but they like to dance a little first. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It becomes a joyful experience. Something that would be horrible to you right now to think about. Because it was such an awful change for you. Things moving around, shifting energy, not being the same. What if you flew, you, you had the ability to flow with it so much it became a dance? Welcome to the new human. Higher consciousness and becoming quantum. This is what we want to teach you. This is what we want to tell you. Now, there would be those who would listen to this, and later they would say, I have no idea what Cryon said. <laughs> Not really. You may have to listen to this a number of times. You may have to listen to this later in order to fully understand what we're saying. This may not apply to you yet. Hmm. You may remember this channel and say, I better listen now because something's happening. Right now, together, I want you to see the magnificence of who you are. Potentials are reality. 
is there illness here? I want to tell you, you have so, con so much control over your own chemistry. It's listening to you. It wants to hear what you have to say. What are the affirmations you would say to your body? Besides, I am healthy, get specific. I am not in pain. I am never going to experience certain kinds of things again. I don't need to. There's no reason for them. You'll find you have more control over your body than you ever thought you had before, even over those things which medicine tells you you cannot do. My blood is clean. My blood is balanced. I'm telling you, you as a human being in this new energy, in this new energy, have more power in these words than you think. Affirmations? Yes. The energy caused from them, you've never seen anything like it. That's what the new energy is going to deliver. Starting over? Yes. But not for the same number of years to practice, just a little while. Go back to basics. Push. Stop waiting. It's time to act. Getting used to the new normal applies to many of you right now and some of you later. And of course, those who already figured it out. <laughs> this is our message for the day. Sit with me for a minute, just a moment. You realize who you are. To receive this message, do you know who you are? Lemurian? He helped start the civilization that has the peace of God inside. Many of you are your own ancestors. You have been through this earth history. So many of you. It is not an accident as my partner moves around the globe that he speaks to only old souls. I want you to think about it. Do you deserve to be free of pain? Do you deserve to have all of the things back that you might have thought you lost? I am speaking to specific people listening to this now, specific family members that I know so well right now and you know who I'm talking to affirmation I am recovering not good enough affirmation I have recovered from my grief <laughs> blessed is the Lord my God who lives inside of me I just spoke to somebody who needed to hear that. Is it okay? I want you to prepare for mastery, for this is where it's going. All of you, at some level, at some time, in the lives to come and in this one, get ready for the new human being. Mm. And so it is. <laughs>